Hi, in this video we'll take a look at how to use the new Visual Studio 2010 code snippet features within Visual 6 ASP.NET controls. Code snippet features is a Visual Studio 2010 feature. This was available in code behind with VB C Sharp, where you could just type some snippets of code and it would create a complete code block for you. With Visual Studio 2010, Microsoft has enhanced that feature and brought that into the markup. So now within ASP that ASP ASPX markup, you can basically write snippets similar to what you did in C Sharp code and it will create an entire block of control for you. So what I have is a blank project in front of me and with just one form, code snippets.aspx. So let's switch over to the markup. Again, I have nothing in there and typically what I would do is if I were my markup developer, I would start typing in my markup from scratch. I would do something like um, ASP colon label run at equals server and you can see that as I'm typing in I'm making some typos and kind of doing backspace and kind of fixing things I'll say label one and if I wanted a text box I would do let's say use in for just text box web so text editor run at equals server and ID equals text box one. And let's put one more control on the form. So let's use a web data grid. Web data grid. And same thing, run ID equals server and let's assign it an ID. Okay, so you saw that the, it took me a lot of typing to just create three, three controls in the markup. Uh, now let's use the code snippet feature to do exactly the same thing. So I need a label, a text header, and a web data grid. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do label, tab, tab. I'm going to pass in label one. Enter. Do text editor. And here's where you're seeing the code snippet feature, which is basically a shorthand to create a markup. And for web data grid, I'm going to do the same thing. So on, the, on this uh, IntelliSense window, you see that it's a new icon and it's a snippet icon. So for anything that you're typing in and the IntelliSense shows this icon, it means that it's a snippet. So while you're typing in, you don't have to type the entire thing. Uh, as you see that the snippet that you want is selected, you just hit tab, tab, and it creates a structure for you. So, and we have the snippet available for all the controls that we ship as part of Visual Studio 2010. So you can see that in the in the in the window, you will see it will pretty pretty much start with the web. So web captures a capture control again uh, as I do tab tab, and it will create a capture control for me. So again, if you're a markup developer, it's very easy to use for you to create the markup very quickly and having less typos in your code. And use a snippet feature where you create the markup structure, and then you can go to the design view to um, either expand onto your controls, add more functionality, use the properties grid, or you can still continue using the markup to uh, to create the the page layout that you want. So, in order to get this feature, you have to um, basically pull in the code snippet files into Visual Studio so that it can recognize that hey, there are snippets that it can use, and those are InfoJSX snippet. So let me take you to the folder where these snippets are in, installed by default. So if you've installed 2010 volume 2 release of InfraJustics ASP.NET controls, you can go to C, Program Files, InfraJustics Net Events 2010.2, ASP.NET, Code Snippets. And here's where you'll see that all these files that has an extension of snippet are located. Um, you can view the readme.txt file and it will tell you exactly what you need to do with these files. So you can copy all these snippets and you can paste them into the uh, snippets folder under ASP.NET for Visual Studio 2010. And then when you rerun Visual Studio 2010, you will see that all the snippets will be picked up automatically. So let's take a look at this folder again, just to make sure that it's, it's there, because since I've already copied all my snippets, I'm gonna come here and do paste. And here you can see that default snippets are all already there so check box and then some of the Microsoft controls have their own snippets so form for grid view and here's the InfraJSX snippet which is IG capture currency editor data grid and so on and so forth so having this uh, snippets folder um, snippets all in here in Visual Studio knows that these are the snippets that need to pick up as soon as you start typing the markup and it gives you the shorthand 
to create your control structure and hit tab tab to render out the whole block. Infragistics. So, on the web that, at infragistics.com. Really Studio 2010 to build up your markup using snippets and then start working with your, um, start building up your pages very quickly. Thanks for watching this video. Thanks for watching this video. I hope it was helpful.